just about to get a tour in the kitchen behind me. And it's, um, it's, uh, no one else is allowed in the kitchen, but um, this is an um, opportunity to get a tour in the kitchen. I'm very excited. So if this is the where they get the wine for out the kitchen for the restaurant, there's one bartender and you have to do upwards of 300 covers in 15 minutes. So we just had some lunch and we had really nice starters, a wee selection of starters and then we had, what did we have for our main course? And we had chicken fajitas, it was the, what, it was the nicest thing I've ever had. <laughs> so we enjoyed it. The chefs were just on the parade um, coming out so I can't believe how many staff are actually involved in the kitchen which is quite amazing. I have beef stew, tuna pizza and chips. Wow. Hi everybody, we are in Stravanger, um, as you can see behind us, um, that's our ship in Stravanger's in Norway. So this is Stravanga Cathedral, which was the first place, birthplace of Christianity here and was brought here by Irish and Scottish monks.
they say Norway is quite expensive, they mean Norway is quite expensive. So I've just been in at this shop here, which is a bit kind of IKEA-esque but very posh uh, designery. And I've just seen a tea light holder for £99. I don't think I'll be buying that. <laughs> That was ten pounds for four chocolates <coughs> and one small pig lolly. cabin and that's our balcony. It's under the Azura sign, a um, few floors down from the top and that's our ship. Way smaller than Britannia um, and it's good because it, feel, it feels it. There's lots of bars and restaurants on it um, that we really have enjoyed so far and it still looks impressive from this side to be honest it still looks massive. We're just going to head back down now to the, the marina in uh, Stavanger head back to the ship. The only food I've ate on it is steak. <laughs> Fine. Um, we're in one of the longest and the largest and deepest um, fjords today. So there's a nice wee town, it's quite tight, it's actually it's tiny, there's not a lot here. Um, but we're going to go on the scenic train later, um, which is about 12 miles long, and take us some way up the mountain which is behind us. and they've got a couple of food stalls 
um, and I've just managed to get myself some pad thai out of Taiwan. However, that and the bottle just, just cost me £21. <laughs> Um, hi everybody, I, I just went to the ice cream shop and got um, salted oh, caramel yeah. and brownies. I can't remember the other thing with the brownie, but it's really nice. Waterfalls, so sorry about the noise if you can hear this. Um, but um, this is one of the waterfalls I've seen. It's not really one, but it's like a lake because, well, what's a noise? Yeah, so that's it. Um, so I need to go because um, I need to get back on the bus. So bye. Today it's because I'm in the first ever built church in Oden and it's all made out of wood I can show you. The coldest temperature recorded in this church was minus 30 and they held a funeral and because of the warm breath of everybody in it, it actually created small kind of snow clouds in the church um, right above the person's face that was obviously in the coffin um, but mine is dirty because there's no heating or electricity in it. And this is the oldest graveyard in Olden. You can see around here all the gravestones. Um, I'm looking at them, it's quite interesting because actually they must have such a good way of life up here. Um, they're all in their 80s and 90s, they've all had a really, really long life. So I think we all need to move to Olden. <laughs> this morning we're in and we've arrived it's before nine o'clock and um, we've just been up the funicular which is one of Bergen's um, most popular tourist attractions
eating friends here. I have elk sausage and whale sausage next. Let's have it. I think that one's my favourite so far. What's that? Thank you.
going to change your practice. Yeah. You told me to make everything holiday. No one was holiday. Midnight Disco! Cheers! Holiday! It'll be 